movie is fantastic. I can't I can't say enough good about it. It's really laugh out loud, funny, fun to open. Um, a guy named Jeff Rowe is a director. He did a movie. Unfortunately, it came out during COVID because it's really, really good. It's really funny called um, Mitchells versus the Machines. It's called the Mitchells. I saw that. It's, it's really good. Like right, the shit. And uh, and he also worked on Gravity Falls and stuff. So it's um, yeah, great. Great bunch of writers and. Uh, All right, if you can't tell movies. already, we're here with Kevin Eastman here <laughs> at the art side at the high end art booth of Anthony's Comic Book Art. And Kevin I, and I actually get along. I, I don't know. <laughs> you, you, you seem to respect each other. I mean, 100%. You know, I always get along. Maybe I'm uh, uh, just as good as you are at what you do as what I do. Yes. Hey. Well, <laughs> you know, I definitely had to come by and thank you again for recommending Cassie's in New York City. Best Italian food I've ever had. Yay. Can't wait yeah, to go back. So old again. school, right? Total old school. Man, really I can just, uh, my mouth almost just watered thinking about that chicken parm. Yeah. I used to get the veal parm there when I was a kid all the time. Oh, that was my favorite. So tell us about this piece. Uh, this is a piece that was um, on the, the Turtles ongoing series. We just checked the number. It was uh, issue 129. Um, this is a run that's uh, being written. Tom and I can consult in the overall story, but Sophie Campbell is an amazing writer and artist. And uh, she's been doing this series and bringing back these really interesting sort of up to the left or up to the right turtle characters from the past turtle universes. And so this is one called Venus. And it's sort of like a experimental Frankenstein-ish sort of cobbled together. This kind of twisted professor wanted to make his own turtle. And so he cobbled together this and we call her Venus. Um, and this is another shot. She's uh, uh, this is a cover that hasn't come out yet. I just finished this before I came to the show. This is for uh, issue 141. 142, sorry. And uh, I see a little uh, Corbin-y influence. Oh, totally. Well, that was, this is, what great right? about this is Sophie penciled it and I inked it. And, oh, okay. Uh, so it was a fun switch up for me. We've been doing more stuff. The so same this Sophie uh, is kind of this year's Escorza Brothers? Uh, Sophie's uh, an independent creator, been self-publishing, but she's a... Uh, well, who, did, who invented the girl? Well, it was kind of loosely based on a, I worked on a turtle series, live action uh, TV series um, in the 95, 96, and we created a fifth turtle, Venus de Milo, which is about, so it was the first female turtle series. Oh, over. that was a, that one movie, right? Yeah. Where they brought the, yeah. And it wasn't as popular the, with the fans as yeah, the I old wish school, it was. Well, it's just, okay. you know, come on, the old school fans didn't like it, but, uh, you know, you were trying to push push the, the, the brand forward. Yep. I mean, it's just like, it's kind of like when the old school fans of Star Wars didn't like uh, Jar Jar, you know? It's like, come yes. on. Jar Jar's meant for the kids. The kids yeah. loved it. I mean, the robots were the comic relief back then yep. uh, in the original. And, the, you know, that comic relief was Jar Jar. I saw yep. it for what it was. It didn't really, I didn't have to hate it. No, I was like, you know, it's like you have to have a lot of tolerance for some of that stuff. I love it. So. Yeah. Um, and then you so have the Yoshi Yogenda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, this is from a new series. I think I've got a couple of the latest ones. This is uh, uh, the awesome and incredible Stan Sakai. done a new Turtle Yusagi crossover. So this was from issue three. There's the actual print cover. And he fits because they all have yeah. swords and ninja powers and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, so they go back in time and they have this awesome adventure that Stan wrote called The Wear When. Uh, so issue five just came out. This one is the nice. final final issue in the series, uh, so we just wrapped that up before we came here. And, and uh, then this one, uh, all the, everybody's dead. Well, yes, that's what? the end of the tour. Everybody's dead. <laughs> no, what's fun about this one is um, it was for a series that Tom and I worked on wrapping up a bunch of plot ends that we had done oh, before issue 100. So this is called Armageddon Games, so it's the final issue, issue 8, and it came out, um, I think it's shipping this week. So that's the final, that's the final print of cover. I wish I like when I can uh, include the actual printed cover with the art. Yeah, cool. Yeah, this kind of gives it like a little, like, oh, it's from there. Yeah, yeah I just told me to Give me one second. Yeah. I want to show you one more thing. Sure. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for looking at those. Those are fun. Saying, you know, like, I always bring a few pieces to the show. And Very exciting. Like I said, we're, work. we're working on building a house in uh, Arizona next year, so it's sort of like <laughs> we're being, you know, easing down on our art collecting edition, yes. which we owe so much to us. This is fun. Oh, yeah, I know what Look that is. Look at that. That crafting board. Bleeding through, baby. And yeah. boom. Oh, sweet. That is awesome. This is one of my favorite pages. It was uh, uh, Turtles number eight. It was a um, uh, Turtles service crossover, which uh, uh -huh. huge, huge fan of Dave Sim, one of our big inspirations when we were uh, just getting into self-publishing. And so I created this character that's named after Savanti Romero, named after 
from George the, Romero? Yeah, George Romero. Because okay. he's got a zombie army. Zombie army. And so they go back in time, and the turtles are trying to find this scepter to bring in the back. Um, and uh, so this is a character that we created for that. Um, and is that back. his first panel appearance, do you think? Or? It's. I'm trying to think. Hard to find. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, it's, you're, it's, you're, it's, uh, it's, let me see, this is page 31. It's, it's not as close to his first. Yeah, first issue. But, it, really but it's when you first see him, because he's, he's been longing after the scepter. So uh, well, it's very, uh, it's very like uh, first panel appearance, totally. presentational. Yeah. You know, here he is. <laughs> I am, you know, yeah. I am the guy that would win a Oh, my God. Is that Pickles, all onions, and some yeah. special kind of, oh, my God. What are the credits on that one? Uh, this one is uh, me and Peter. Okay. Pretty much throughout. Um, yeah, it's the first year of the series. Yeah. So, I mean, you were still passing them back and forth like you would say you did? Yeah, we're still doing everything. So, uh, yeah, so it's, it's fun to see. I always love seeing it. Because back in those days with the uh, um, the dual shade, the craft tent was so expensive. That's why the pages are so small. Because we they came in 17 by 22 sheets, so we could get three pages out of one sheet. And oh, so wow. that's why we started doing them this size. Uh, so there's very little border, very little trim, so we can maximize it and uh, yeah. I man would, I would think that'd make it a lot harder to be so detailed yeah well we just we were crazy you know we were kids and you know st staying sitting there all <laughs> sitting there all night um, drinking cool. too much coffee doing but that's it's just, I love seeing the old stuff especially that and it is funny because like you said you can see the the bleed through because mm -hmm. this craft in paper is uh, uh, yeah because this, this painted will, on with developer yeah it'll it fade was, but you can also go back and touch it up and it comes right back. Cause the, oh, you still have the activator? I do. I'm one of the only guys on the planet that still has the activator. John yeah, Byrne would be jealous. He, he loves that yeah. stuff. He, I don't think he can find it anymore. That's what, that's what anyway, right. that's so, what Kevin, you, thank you so much for spending some time and oh, talking about this stuff. Oh, it's good to say hi. I wanted to say hi. It's hey. good to see you at these shows. It's good fun. And, um, no cookies this year? Like, no, we have you, cookies. You would, no, no, I don't need any more. I've been, I, we just came back from Australia. I love them. No, you gave us some cookies last time I saw you. Right. They were delicious. So. Yay.